get started six months ago, when more than 200 teams from across the globe entered into one of the world's toughest business competitions. Now it was time for the six finalists to put their ideas to the test and make their pitch to a panel of visionary entrepreneurs at the 10th annual Cupid's Cup Business Competition. More than 1,000 people filled the Clarice Smith Performing Arts Center at the University of Maryland to see them go head to head. Hopefully we will inspire you. We will inspire you to think more, to dream more, to be more, to be bigger. And we're also hopefully going to instill maybe a little bit of caution because it's not about just the first idea, it's about the best idea, and that doesn't always come right away. With more than $100,000 on the line and access to Under Armour CEO and UMD alumnus Kevin Plank's professional network, the competition was hot. Surprisingly, I'm good right now. Probably when I walk on stage, I'll be a little nervous. The Cupid's Cup is about impact and affecting and creating something that's groundbreaking that's never been done before. This year's win uh, would be, you know, it would help propel the university's goal. You know, the mission is now, you know, prayerless ideas, helping encourage students to, you know, chase ventures and, you know, start ideas and think outside the box. We created our very own Iron Rich Nutritional Bars called Goodness. We believe in mobilizing local communities for a local cause. 73% of people who put sunscreen on for the beach still come back with a sunburn. In 20 seconds, this brilliant piece of technology can tell you more about your body than a doctor can with a physical. 70% of students that enroll in college every year have to take out around $35,000 in student loans. The finalists endured some constructive and some tough feedback from the judges, who included the star of ABC's hit show Shark Tank, Damon John. You're also going on to other people's production lines at the moment and buying a day or, or how, are you, how are you doing that currently? Do you think that you'll have to use a different kind of marketing technique to appeal to women than men? I think there's a real demand for this type of product. I just want to tell you, you just killed that. Thank Great you. job. Man. Thank Great you. job. Man. But after it all, one finalist stood out more than the rest. Christopher, you are this year's 10th anniversary Cupid Cup winner. Chris Gray is the founder of Scully an easy-to-use mobile and web app that allows high school students, current college students, and graduate students find scholarships for college. Winning me means that I get to be a part of a great alumni group entrepreneur. It's great. This is really going to help my company take us to the next step and build out our next feature. Ten years in Cupid's Cup, it's been an amazing ride and watching from where we began to where we are now, uh, I think I'm incredibly proud of the event and especially proud for the entrepreneurs and hopefully many, many companies that have been born because of, you know, the inspiration that comes from this.